three balls are chosen from a bag that contains ten green balls and two red balls. What is the probability that at least one red ball was chosen? Alright, so there's three balls being chosen. We're trying to figure out the probability that at least one red ball is chosen. Um, if we think about the number of red balls that can be chosen, we could get 0, 1, 2, or 3. Those are the number of red balls that are chosen. We're trying to find the probability that we get at least one. This is the entire sample space. This is not, I mean, this is not a um, equally likely probabilities, if you think of the sample space in this way. But I do know that if I take the probability that we get exactly one, uh, zero balls, zero red balls, and we add that to the probability we get at least one red ball, these should sum up to one. These are complementary events. I either get zero balls or I get at least one ball. Which means if I'm trying to figure out this probability here, the probability of getting at least one red ball, I could figure out, I could do one minus the probability of getting exactly zero red balls. Alternatively, I could figure out the probability of one, exactly one red ball plus the probability of two plus three. So I could do this either way. I'm going to choose to use the complement because it's fewer things to compute here. So I want to get exactly, um, I'll go ahead and say E is at least one red ball. So E complement would be zero red balls. Okay, so N of E complement because this is the thing I'm going to find the probability of. Uh, the, prob the number of ways that I can get zero red balls, well, let's see, there are, from the two red balls, I want to choose zero. From the ten green balls, I want to choose three, because I'm choosing three balls in total. There's a dozen balls, and I'm choosing three. You'll notice zero of them are coming from the red balls, and three of them are coming from the green balls. This will give me uh, ten choose three, 2 choose 0 is just 1, so all I care about is the 10 choose 3. Um, I'm actually going to just copy this previous line and change this to 10 choose 3 to get 120. N of S here is um, there are a dozen balls, and I'm choosing 3 of them. 12 choose 3, and that's actually on my calculator already. That's 220. So the probability of E complement is 120 out of 220. Thus the probability of E is 1 minus the probability of E complement, which is 1 minus 120 out of 220, which is 100, not, not 1100, just 100 out of 220.